Good afternoon, everyone. We now come to exercises given on page number 34. The first question. A solution turns red litmus blue. Its pH is likely to be. Now, when does a red litmus paper turn blue? Only when the solution is basic in nature. Now, whenever the solution is basic in nature, its pH will be greater than 7. Now, in these options that are given below, the only value which is greater than 7 or above 7 is the D1, that is 10. So, that is the correct answer, 10, that is the D1. We come to the second question. A solution reacts with crushed eggshells to give a gas that turns lime water milky. The solution contains, now eggshells, they contain calcium carbonate. Everybody knows, right? Now calcium carbonate, it reacts with hydrochloric acid to give out carbon dioxide gas which turns lime water milky. Let's see the reaction. We have calcium carbonate, yes? Calcium carbonate, it reacts with hydrochloric acid, yes, aqueous, to form a salt, calcium chloride, yes, aqueous, plus carbon dioxide, yes, plus water, yes. So, the second option, yes, that is HCl, yes. So, calcium carbonate, it reacts with HCl to give carbon dioxide gas which turns lime water milky. Yes? So, the second option, the B1, that is HCl. Then, we come to the third question. 10 ml of a solution of sodium hydroxide is found to be completely neutralized by 8 ml of a given solution of HCl. So 10 ml of a solution of sodium hydroxide, yes, it neutralizes 8 ml of HCl. Yes, if we take 20 ml of the same solution of sodium hydroxide, so we've doubled it. First it was 10 ml, now it has become 20 ml. The amount of hydrochloric solution, the same solution as before, required to neutralize will be how much of HCl will be required to neutralize 20 ml of sodium hydroxide. Since we've doubled the amount of sodium hydroxide solution, even HCl will be double. So, double of 8 ml would be 16 ml. So, the D1 would be the correct answer. That is 16 ml. We come to the fourth question. Which one of the following type of medicines is used for treating indigestion? Now, you already know indigestion, it is caused by excessive secretion of hydrochloric acid in the stomach. Now, antacids, they are mild bases, yes, which neutralize the acid and provide relief. So, antacid, the C1, would be the right option. We come to the fifth question. Write word equation and then balanced equation for the reactions taking place when Dilute sulfuric acid reacts with zinc granule. So let's write the word equation first. The A1. Here we have dilute sulfuric acid. So I'll write dilute sulfuric acid reacts with zinc granules. Okay. So it reacts with zinc granules to form zinc sulfate and hydrogen gas is also liberated yes let's write a balanced chemical equation for this dilute sulfuric acid yes h2so4 aqueous yes reacts with zinc solid to give a salt zinc sulfate the solution of zinc sulfate and hydrogen gas is liberated. Yes, reminds this re reaction reminds you of something. 
where a metal reacts with an acid to form a metal salt and hydrogen gas is liberated. Now, how do we come to know the particular gas is hydrogen gas only? Now, whenever we bring a burning candle or a burning matchstick near this gas, it burns with a pop sound. This tells us that the particular gas that is liberated during this reaction is hydrogen gas. We come to the B1. Dilute hydrochloric acid reacts with magnesium ribbon. The B1. Okay. Dilute hydrochloric acid reacts with magnesium ribbon. to form magnesium chloride magnesium chloride and hydrogen okay now let's write the balance chemical equation for this we have hcl okay dilute hcl that is aqueous plus magnesium solid which reacts and forms magnesium chloride aqueous and hydrogen gas is liberated okay we come to the c1 dilute sulfuric acid reacts with aluminium powder so the c1 dilute sulfuric acid reacts with aluminium powder aluminium okay to form aluminium sulfate and hydrogen plus hydrogen okay we write the balance chemical equation for this. So we have dilute sulfuric acid, okay, dilute that is aqueous plus aluminium, okay, twice aluminium plus balancing, yes. So that gives us aluminium sulfate SO4 twice aqueous plus pH2 is hydrogen yes gas okay we come to the D1 dilute hydrochloric acid reacts with iron fillings so the D1 dilute hydrochloric acid reacts with iron fillings yes to form iron chloride or ferrous chloride okay so ferrous chloride and hydrogen gas is given out or liberated or evolved or released yes so we have dilute hydrochloric acid dilute is aqueous iron yes solid gives FeCl2 aqueous that is ferrous chloride and hydrogen gas is given out okay I hope these questions are clear yes in case any doubts do let me know Thank you.